Welcome to What's in My Camera Bag Travel Edition. This organized chaos, pretty organized, pretty chaotic, is me getting ready to go overseas for the first time since BC. So I'm pretty excited, but also a little bit ah, all over the place. We're leaving in two days and uh, yeah, I've got a bit to do in the meantime. But I thought I'd share with you quickly what I'm taking. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to edit this, so it's gonna be pretty slapdash, I reckon. So we'll start with my main camera bag. So of course, I've got my S5, Panasonic S5 with the 24 to 105. I think this is gonna be my go-to uh, lens for landscape photography on the trip. Now, where I'm actually going to, or I should say where we are actually going to, because Danny and I are off on a holiday, uh, you're going to have to wait until next week to find out, because <laughs> I'm mean like that. I have my new 14 to 28 millimeter lens. I think this could get some use. My 70 to 300 millimeter and my 20 to 60 mil. Now this one is pretty much, I'm just taking a bit as a backup. I probably am not gonna use it that much, but it's a just in case. I've also got my, my Mini 3 Pro drone controller in here, and I will also be putting the spare batteries for that into this. Now, because I do not like carting big backpacks around airports and particularly when we live at what one of our illustrious prime ministers once called the arse end of the world yeah i don't want to cart this everywhere we've got a number of plane flights to catch so i have an ingenious solution for that oops oh dear <laughs> too much stuff okay so this is a little wheelie case this, oh, I should have gone through this. So this is my photography backpack, which is a f-stop, oh, what's it called? An f-stop cashmere ultralight. How these work is they've got these interchangeable camera unit things that you can put different sizes and you can take them out. So normally I would <laughs> take this out before I put all the stuff in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up first so I don't drop any of the contents out. Oh, so professional. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. Okay, so that is that. And then I've also got in here this is uh, all my itinerary and a list of all the different things we could do. I always plan lots of different stuff so that depending on what the weather does, we've always got something that we can do and we don't have to get stuck. So that go in the back there. And then this Oops. fits in here like it was made for it. Oh, magical. Now I don't have to carry it around. I can just wheel it. It's awesome. So there's a little bit of room left in here down the sides. This is my general accessories. Mostly it's spare batteries. You always need to take your spare batteries on board with you, so do not put them in your checked baggage. Do not need planes catching on fire, particularly when you're traveling from Australia and you spend a lot of time over the, over the ocean. Okay, so that will go in there. I think that's it for the carry-on. Oh no, no it's not, I lie. I lie. I'm gonna change cameras, so I'll show you my other stuff that I'm carrying on, just a sec. Okay, I got my S5 on there now, so we can have a look at my rest of my stuff. 
Okay, so this is my little carry-on handbag slash camera case. And in this, I've got my G100 with the 12 to 32 lens, the little 35 to 100 mil for that. And I've spent more money. <laughs> I've ended up replacing my GoPro here and I with a DJI Osmo Action 4. So far, I've only used it once for the last video. Uh, I mostly am very happy with it. I think the image and what I can do with it from that point of view is a big improvement over my Hero 9. Probably when you're comparing it to the newer GoPros, it's a lot closer. I am having a little issue with the sound though. And I'm curious if anybody else out there has one of these, whether you have that problem too, because I'm trying to contact DJI support and their initial telling me was that it was normal, but and now I'm waiting to hear back because I've sent them some videos and I haven't heard anything yet. But it seems strange to me. And that's that there's, I'm getting a lot of noise through, like handling noise through the mount. So when this is attached to my backpack, you can hear it quite significantly as though something's actually rubbing over the microphones. Uh, every time I take a step, you can hear it with when it's on a selfie stick, every time you just move your hand a little bit. It's not something my GoPro does. I think what it is, is that the microphones are just they're, they're too hot that they're picking up too much noise because I've also noticed when I was speaking like I am now that it was peaking as well so that's unfortunate um, I was hoping I might be able to get it fixed before I go away but that's not going to happen so I'm going to have to keep in mind what this is doing uh, I've got my GoPro Hero 9 with me as well oops I got a little little uh, silicon cover for him so don't scratch the lens and I've got a little selfie stick with one of my um, what are they called PGY tech attachments so I can use that with my G100 and that's going to live in there as well so this is a camera case it's got a little let's see camera case it's got a little front pocket which I've got some oh I got some little magnetic filters to go on my G100 they're from a, an Australian company called Earth U-R-T-H so that's pretty handy a strap and I think I've just got a couple of spare memory cards in here too the bulk of my memory cards is going to is in the the other case that's in the wheelie case <laughs> oh chaos so now that this is packed down oh, I've still got something in here I think this will go in my suitcase uh, this is a rain jacket which actually came an, off an Osprey bag but it fits perfectly over this one so that usually lives in the back there Ooh. Probably shouldn't put that in there. Oh dear, snacks that I didn't eat last time. Oh, what else? So I've got this little case as well that I'm taking, which has got my Zoom H1N microphone for doing recordings of audio, thinking birds and things, because they should be quite different where we're going than uh, the Australian type. My Hollyland Lark M1 microphones at some point i'd like to upgrade from these the new rode wireless pros are very very tempting i was uh going to wait probably until see what either holly land or dgi come out with in that sort of regard but these are tiny look at how small the mic is anyway they're there too uh all the little attachments for that headlamp if I need a remote control for my S5 
This is a little handle, which I'd actually forgotten I'd bought, but I think it's gonna come in quite handy. It just attaches to the cold shoe, so I can use it on the G100 or the S5. It makes it easier to get stable footage holding it this way than this way I've found, I think. What have I got in here? Oh, this is my bag full of cleaning things. So little lower lens cleaning fluid, uh, lens pen, microfiber cloths, just some various little clips and, you know, things in case. There's an extra one of the PGY Tech uh, um, attachments if I want to use it on my S5 at all. Loctite, you never, never know when you need some of that. It comes in handy. And this is fantastic. This is a little small rig kind of multi-tool. So you've got four different sizes of Allen keys, a star shaped one, a Phillips head and a straight screwdriver head. So that's pretty much everything. I do have a couple of other Allen keys somewhere. I think in the, the one that I carry around normally. What else have we got? Oh, I've got some external SSD hard drives and my memory card reader. I don't actually have a good laptop at the moment, but Danny does, he'll be taking that. So I'll be backing up all my stuff onto that. This is all various accessories and things for the action cameras Ooh. or uh, the drone. So spare propellers, just all sorts of bits and pieces. This is a screwdriver for replacing the propellers on the Mini 3 Pro. I haven't actually had to do it yet, but I have read various times that the one that comes with it isn't very good and this is, does a much better job. This is a funny little um, mount for an action camera that I've put the PGY Tech clip on that you can bend so you could tie it around a tree or a pole or something. I'm going to use it as a neck mount for doing point of view stuff. So that will come in handy. Oh, and this is a the ultra wide lens for the drone. I really don't use this, but you never know. So most of these things that I'm showing you in these cases are gonna be going in my suitcase. I've also got my DJI bag. I'm gonna take this because I have a second backpack which I use when we go on something, hikes that are strenuous and I need to cut down on how much gear I take. It's a lot lighter to put this bag in here if I'm gonna take the drone. It's, it's about half the weight of taking the other bag. So uh, that's, this has got some things, other bits and pieces that I've packed like a first aid kit, uh, my filters for my S5, strap for my S5, all that sort of stuff. That goes in the suitcase, that goes in the suitcase. My Leo Photo tripod, this is an LS284C with a leveling head and a, um, a two-way head. I'm gonna have to do a review of this sometime. It's an excellent tripod and I love this head. It's fantastic, but no time now. So that will go in my suitcase. This is the selfie stick I've got with the little feet and the ball head. <laughs> and I am gonna take my monopod. I've been humming and hawing about this. I've been thinking about just taking this bottom part, which is the foot, which I can interchange with that one. Possibly I still might. The only thing is I haven't used this selfie stick much and I'm just, I'm worried about if it breaks that I've got nothing else. So yeah, this is my Leo Photo monopod. I've put a little ball head on it, although I might not take that and I'll just, I can put this tiny little one on if I need to. Just need to remember it. I think that's about it. Oh dear, I'm, uh, yeah. And well, this is my bag for my Leo Photo tripod. I have a Sherpa now who uh, quite often will carry my tripod for me because he's a kind fella. And so, yes, I take that bag so he can, can carry it in that. 
Uh, I think that's about it. I need to get going. I've got lots I have to do. I've actually <sighs> hurt my neck and uh, have to go to an osteopath <laughs> this afternoon. It's better than it was. I'm moving around better than I have been. Um, and yeah, I've got a lot of packing still to do. I'm gonna have to try and get this edited at some point. You should be seeing this about, oh, just a few days actually before we come home. So <laughs> fingers crossed, I actually get that all done because I'm not doing any editing and stuff while we're on holidays. It is our holiday. We are gonna be doing some of the touristy stuff where we're going. Oh, I keep almost telling you, you're gonna have to wait as well as a lot of cool outdoor things. So yeah, make sure you watch next week. I, that's when I'm planning for this to be out. I'm only giving myself a day to be able to edit the first video. It's gonna be a short one, just so you can see where we're going. And then there'll be a number of videos coming to you from somewhere, <laughs> okay? Thank you so much for watching everyone. I uh, hope this has made some sort of sense. I'm a bit scatterbrained at the moment, so you're gonna have to forgive me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side of an ocean.